that way. If you miss some of the presentation today from some of the presenters, um, I can always make this uh, this available to you. So, all right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Three minutes after, we want to make sure that uh, we have plenty of time to cover all of the information that we have for you today. So, again, uh, welcome to the uh, the more revenue roundtable. It had been calling it new revenue, but uh, we, we want to bring you more revenue in a lot of different ways. And so we're excited to have you participate today and, and learn about some of these programs that will uh, be a tremendous benefit to your community pharmacy. And we, um, um, you know, first off, let me uh, say who I am. Uh, my name's Breck Rice. If you don't know me, I'm one of the co-founders of, of ServeRx. Um, and ServeRx has been around for about 10 years now, a um, little over that. Uh, it became uh, a company after the grandfather of the industry was acquired uh, by a, a big PBM. And so um, when the big PBM bought the, the original grandfather of the industry, the, the third party solutions program, which every pharmacy in the country used because they loved being able to just outsource all of that work comp a hassle of making phone calls to find out about eligibility and everything they um they tps or third-party solutions did all that busy leg work for the pharmacy and then just guaranteed payment and so great great program everyone used it and um, a big pbm saw the opportunity to funnel all those claims into their networks and make you know millions and millions of dollars and and so that's what they did well I didn't want to go to the dark side, so I left. And when the opportunity uh, arose, we started the new and improved third-party solutions called ServeRx. And um, my my good friend, uh, Will Shaw, will tell you a little more about that in just a minute. But um, the reason for these roundtables, uh, I absolutely love community pharmacy. Been working with uh, community pharmacies for now over 20 years. And it's always been my goal to help um, pharmacies get fair reimbursements and to help them in any way that I can. And when I started to see pharmacies closing their doors or selling their files to the chains, I got really quite concerned and wanted to do anything I could to help our pharmacy partners uh, stay open. So the, the products that, that are going to be presented to you today and some of the services that you'll see, ServeRx isn't getting anything from that. We just love community pharmacy and we want to do everything we can to help you be successful. Uh, I've also recently been asked uh, to host the PBM Reform podcast on the Pharmacy Podcast Network. And so that's another way that I'm trying to contribute and help in any way that I can in uh, talking with congressmen and others in continuing the effort of reforming uh, PBMs. And uh, when I saw this this article uh, that that um, I posted on um, on social media about um, you know so many independents having to close their doors because of poor reimbursements, I can attest. I started back 20 years ago when those profit margins were fair, when you actually got you know 35, 36 percent uh, profit margin on dispensing a medication. Well, today with only a three uh, percent or five percent of profit margin it's pretty hard to to stay in business if that's your only focus is dispensing medications in fact uh, i saw a really horrifying study that about one third of all medications now being dispensed at a community pharmacy are actually dispensed below your acquisition cost of the drug and i'm sure uh, there are many of you that can attest to that as well uh, so I wanted to do something about it. And, uh, and then on top of that, then we have these crazy DIR fees, right? Um, many of you may have seen my my post on that. They, you know, the equivalent of that increase in DIR fees increasing by over 91,000% would be like, you know, uh, taking you know, $70,000 to fill up your tank of gas today. That uh, would be the equivalent or a gallon of milk costing you know, thirty six hundred dollars, uh, just absolutely insane, and can't uh, can't cannot continue. And that's another one of the discussion points uh, on the on the uh, reform uh, podcast as well. But to offset those horrible 
uh, fees and and terrible reimbursements, we wanted to come up with some solutions that would help our pharmacies. Because you can see pharmacies that are closing left and right that have been around for a long time. Here's some examples of pharmacy that was open for 80 years. Another one that was open 106 years that closed their doors. Uh, list. I get the updates from the PSAOs all the time because we're their preferred uh, third-party uh, vendor for workers' comp, and so we get the updates of of you know what pharmacies have have closed, which ones have moved over to their network, et cetera. And it's really sad to see uh, all of these pharmacies closing. We are firm believers that uh, that one third of your revenue needs to come from non dispensing in order to survive. Okay, so um, the the big chains and mass you know merchant pharmacies and of course your supermarkets they they figured that out because they have more front end space to have uh, uh, you know uh, chips and soda pop and you know uh, all the grocery store items and everything like that. Well, how does an independent get one third of their um, uh, revenue coming from non-dispensing areas. And, and so we really did some in, deep dive investigation into that and how to help uh, our community pharmacies do just that very thing. So when I was a little boy, um, I, I got the opportunity to, to play some peewee league uh, uh, hockey when uh, all your pads weighed more than the, than the kids. So you were indestructible. You would run into the to the boards and crash into each other and everyone was just fine. It was a lot of fun, but I really looked up to Wayne Gretzky and what an amazing player he was in, in, uh, in hockey. And um, this famous quote that most of you have heard is that, you know, what made him so great was that he skated to where the puck was going to be, not where it had been. And, uh, and that's what we need to do as community pharmacy leaders. We need to skate to where the puck is going. And so we have some amazing solutions to help you um, do that very thing today. Uh, proven solutions, things that are already generating uh, thousands and thousands of dollars in new uh, found revenue for our community pharmacies. And we want to help you do the same. Uh, first off, I want to show you a, a quick little explainer video about uh, the, the ServRX program. If you're not enrolled with us, uh, please do get enrolled. It's totally free. You're already contracted through your PSAO in, in most cases, um, but I just want to show you a quick little explainer video, and then I'll turn some time over to, to Will. Hopefully you can hear the volume okay. An injured worker comes into your pharmacy. What do you do? Do they have a PDM card? Who is their carrier? Will I have to make a bunch of calls to find out? Will I get paid? And if I get paid, will it even cover the cost of the drugs? Don't worry, just send the claim to Serve RX. They will do all the work, guarantee payments, and you will even make more, less work and more money. What do you have to lose? You are probably already contracted through your PSAO. All you need to do is enroll www.servrx.com. Okay, and so here to tell us more about that is my friend uh, Will, um, and you know basically, oh sorry, Will already flying forward here. Uh, basically, um, you know if you continue to to do what you've always done is is kind of the the definition of insanity, right? So the status quo doesn't work anymore. You need to do things differently, and we are one of those programs that can bypass the PBMs whenever you possibly can. Will Shaw. Absolutely, Brett. Great morning, everyone. And like Brett said here, we, we love community pharmacies. And we just want to help you keep those fair reimbursements uh, that the pharmacy legally deserve. ServRx, we are a free service for the pharmacy. I love to say it's free 99. So there's no enrollment fees, no annual fees, no monthly fees. This is an added value benefit to your pharmacy through your PSAO. And if you're not with a PSAO, it's okay. We'll just get you set up with the uh, direct uh, contract with ServRx enrollment form. Okay, ServRx, we have no affiliations with the PBMs. So we're able to maximize the pharmacy's reimbursements on those workman comp claims by keeping them out of the PBM networks. As you can see right here, for example, a meloxicam, if you was to process that meloxicam through a PBM um, your pharmacy may be reimbursed, you know, three to four dollars for that medicine. 
Now, that same medication, if you was to adjudicate through ServRx has been in PCN, uh, we're seeing as of lately the pharmacy being re uh, reimbursed for meloxicam anywhere, anywhere from $101 to $105. And that will be reimbursed to your pharmacy in 30 days through your central pay. Or if you're not with a PSAO, it'll be uh, reimbursed to the pharmacy within 45 days directly from ServRx. Um, the only claims that ServRx we do not accept, unfortunately, is Department of Labor. So all federal claims must go through Optum. Um, and that's where the pharmacy, unfortunately, will be reimbursed at negative 88% of AWP. And how we help keep the uh, fair reimbursements in the pharmacy, uh, we do reimburse the pharmacy of AWP. So for brand medications, we reimburse the pharmacy 85% plus a $2 dispense fee. And generic medications, we reimburse the pharmacy 70% plus a $2 dispense fee of AWP. Uh, we do have a live help desk that is available seven days a week. So if your pharmacy was to receive a rejection, you could give our help desk a call and they can help the pharmacy receive that paid label. Um, we're here seven days a week to help the pharmacy. Uh, so again, this is a free service, no enrollment fees, no annual fees, no monthly fees, just the added value benefit to the pharmacy. My contact information is in the chat as well. So please feel free to reach out and I can help your pharmacy get set up. Thank you, Will. Appreciate that. And and Will, please put your contact information in there one more time in the chat because there were a few people that joined uh, after you had already put it up. Um, All right, will, will do. Thank you. Appreciate that. And the you know the other thing too is is um, you know we're we're kind of a verification process for you too. So you can send the claim to us. We're going to check. We verify every claim that comes into our our company. And we identify, you know, who the payer is and who the PBM affiliated with that. If you are in network in in contract with that PBM, of course, you you need to honor that contract. And so we'll let you know. Uh, but still in workers comp, about one third of all workers comp uh, falls outside of the big three um, PBMs. So it's a lot of self-insured employers. We have over 4,000 payers that we bill to today. One of the other big benefits is when we send off um, invoices for your pharmacy, it's not just one invoice. It's combined with thousands of pharmacies uh, and thousands of bills. And so they're getting a box of invoices for, from us where they have to pay attention to that rather than, you know, one little invoice coming at a time. So our collections rates are, are the highest in the industry uh, for getting payers to uh, to pay attention to your uh, invoice and get that paid. So I just wanted to, to mention that as well. Uh, I'm going to skip forward uh, uh, over a couple of our our awesome uh, uh, front end products that I that I want to share with you. Um, we're going to move uh, forward real quick so that uh, the Mr. John uh, Casson can come on. Um, he needs uh, to to leave a little bit early, but I want to make sure you guys all hear about uh, the RX Spark program, because this is an amazing program. And we'll come back to all these other things you see me flying over real quick. This is the program that I talk about. And you hear me um, say on, on social media and other places that this is uh, generate revenue in your sleep. You know, most of our community pharmacies only can make a sell when they're open, when they're, they're there. Uh, or they have a staff member there to open the doors, and then a customer has to walk into the pharmacy and and do business with you. That's the only way most of our pharmacies, uh, community pharmacies today, can make any revenue. This program helps you make revenue 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week, gives you some amazing, amazing online um, uh, sales that uh, you're not taking advantage of today. And I wanted to introduce uh, the CEO, uh, Mr. John uh, Casson, who, by the way, he'll tell you this too as well. His team is the same team that built WebMD and other, you know, international platforms uh, just like that. So, uh, John, take it away. Yeah, hey, thanks for the introduction, Breck. Uh, yeah, we built WebMD. Uh, we built Yahoo Money. Uh, so we build platforms that are sophisticated um, in the back end, but easy to use. Uh, we got pulled into pharmacy to solve a, a circular problem. Um, one in three prescriptions issued by a doctor, not collected the pharmacy, one side. Um, 
the that impacts the doctor because they get measured on medical adherence. It impacts the pharmacy. You don't put pills in the joint or get paid. The PBM doesn't do their adjudication fee and the user doesn't get better. So we sort of looked at the user viewpoint and, and found out they, they think it's too expensive and they just don't know where the cheapest price is. So we created a platform called RX Spark, and RX Spark pulls in the cheapest pharmacy um, prices in the US, cheaper than GoodRx. Uh, we can go through that in detail on a different call. Um, we added services that relate to the drug and condition and products like um, DME uh, that relate to the drug and condition as well into one cohesive platform. We work with large clients like Henry Shine that you know, Lionsgate that own Netflix and On Demand and several other very large partners. And we promote all pharmacies on each of those platforms. We're talking to Breck probably about for about nine months or a year now regarding community pharmacies and how we could help. And the solution was actually quite straightforward. We've created a brand called My RX Spark uh, that's exclusive for the community pharmacies. And underneath that, uh, as an architecture, we've created a separate site for every community pharmacy. And in that community pharmacy, then you get your card and people can come to your site and see that information. So with that card, you make more money than you do on your agreed fill price from the PBM. You get paid by the PBM for the putting the pills in the jar. I get paid for promoting and we share the profit of that extra money on the prescription fills with you. We make money when people um, want to get, for example, remote patient monitoring or the products that we have at very inexpensive prices. And you earn every time a user buys any of that. So think of that as level one. The second layer says, well, now you've got your pharmacy discount card. Let's get out in the community. Let's go put out um, posters and cards um, at laundromats and churches and schools. It's your card. They can come into your pharmacy. Um, the next layer says that all your users that you tell about your pharmacy card can then use your pharmacy card and you get more money. And you can get rid of the dumb cards and the gutter X's that are in your system and again, make money. All those users of yours and all the community also have friends and those friends are all over the States. You earn when a user or anyone in your community or any friend of any user or anyone in your community buys a prescription or a product or a service. Even if they use your card, in CVS or Walgreens, it's always accepted everywhere in every pharmacy, you still get paid. So that was the core of the project. And as we've discussed with more community pharmacies, what they would like, the biggest issue they have is driving traffic. So the next layer we talk about is we're experts in optimization, we're experts in building sites and so forth. So we're taking that skill and giving it to the community pharmacy. Like on here, as Breck has just pulled up, this is one of the slides that you get that you um, you get uh, with part of the, the service. You get a shop local button now. So any pharmacy in shop lo in, a, in the local area will be highlighted within the system. On the left hand side, there's another button now called trusted partner. Again, if you work with us, then we can make you a trusted partner. But again, from an optimization viewpoint, we're going to create you a web page that is highly optimized. It is all about you, the services you have to offer, uh, the, the staffing, the opening times, the closing times, the contact, all that information that's core. Differences between a website that you can get from Word, WordPress or whatever, it's not optimized. These are heavily optimized by experts from New York that we've worked with for 25 years. They know this stuff inside out. So our aim is to drive users to that area, that landing page of yours, and move it back in. So in complete circle, we've created you a platform under MyRxSpark that you can market to your users and your community. You earn when a user or community or a friend of that group earn. 
In addition, we are going to be able to promote you effectively on the internet, basically having a website. Uh, it's as good as a website and driving traffic to you and highlighting you when anyone does a search for our drug in any zip code on any of our platforms, whether it's Henry Shine or it's or it's Lionsgate or whatever, you'll be highlighted within that platform. So again, coming full circle, our aim is to um, show how you can do this. If you'd like to get on a call and go through this in more detail, we're going to start running webinars that go through in, in far more detail how all this hangs together. Excellent. Thank you so much, John. And so again, passive revenue um, without a whole lot of effort, generating somewhere around 50K for your, your pharmacy per year with a little more uh, input and elbow grease and getting it out and marketing into more patients um, could be as much as 150,000 uh, per year. So amazing, amazing opportunity. Uh, I highly encourage you. You'll, you'll see in the chat, I've, I've put the a little explainer video in there a couple of times and then how to in, uh, in how to enroll, which will be scheduling a, a meeting to also get into the details with with John and his team. So thank you very much, John. Appreciate that. Uh, let me back up now and cover. I didn't see Scott Lamp here, here today, but I can explain his program uh, well enough because I'm a big fan. Um, this is new technology for pathogen protection. Okay. So it's like um, hand sanitizer on steroids. The the hand sanitizers that, that most of you are familiar with are alcohol-based um, their efficacy is about 30 seconds. So it, you get that protection that they claim, 98%, 99%. You get that for three seconds. That's all you get with that. So you'd literally have to bathe in that, uh, you know, every three seconds in order to get, uh, get the type of protection you'll get from this product for four hours. The FDA says it lasts up to four hours, which means it probably lasts five or six hours. Uh, this one bottle right here I've had for nine months. It, it literally replaces about 70 bottles of the uh, alcohol-based hand sanitizer. And it's water-based, so it's way better for your skin. Um, I had one of their wipes out earlier, wiping down my desk today. This is, you can't even see that. It's so big. It's it's a huge wipe. That's just one wipe. Um, and I, I'll take one of those. And, and whenever I travel with my family, I have two little grandkids now. I'll wipe them down head to toe. And I know it's safe because it's water-based. Then I'll wipe down the armrests on the plane and the tray tables. I'll wipe everything down to make sure we have protection there. But it kills pathogens physically, not chemically. Uh, so if you want more information about that and bringing that product in into your pharmacy, just so much better for your patients. And then the the actual efficacy is off the off the charts, uh, four hours or more uh, per uh, per application, and they have surface cleaners and stuff like that too that last up to like twenty eight days or something uh, uh, incredible as well. Um, also, I uh, wanted to to tell you about a a, a really fun new product um, that was just launched this past. Uh, NCPA meeting down in Orlando. Here to tell us more about that is uh, Jonathan. Thanks, Breck. Uh, we just got back from the uh, Diversify RX show in Dallas yesterday. And before that, we were at the multi-location show uh, in Fort Myers with NCPA. And the response just continues to be fantastic. What Breath Rocks is, it's basically sugar-free pop rocks with zinc. Well, remember these little guys uh, in the uh, in the black pouches. Well, now we brought forward uh, the uh, the breath rocks in this uh, black bottle. What this product does is it works in three ways. When you put this product in your mouth, and I see some folks on the list there. I think I see a couple of folks that we saw at Diversify RX. They can testify. You get this this uh, this popping action. It's going to actually activate your saliva. Meanwhile, the zinc that, you're, uh, that you've got in your mouth, it's neutralizing the gas. And then finally, all those pieces as you're kind of rubbing around the different, you know, uh, popping flavor in your mouth, it's actually gonna scrub your mouth. So just as Breck was saying, it's fun, but it's actually functional. All the other breath mints out there, Tic Tacs, Altoids, whatever, that's just perfume. So this is actually something that works. With this product, what's really fantastic about it is how pharmacies are using it as a tool. So let me tell you about that. 
because this product, it only costs $1.49 for a pharmacy and they turn around and retail it for $2.99. So you get that 100% um, um, markup on, you got that keystone margin, but because it's only $1.49, you can use it as a tool in many ways. A couple uh, examples, as I've said to pharmacies, I'm like, you're not Dunkin' Donuts. Why are you bringing donuts to pharmacies? I mean, to, to doctors, you should be bringing them a product that you carry. You should bring them something that they're excited about getting. And frankly, it also deals with the side effects of some of the medication those docs are writing, dry mouth. And so people are seeing, well, this is a great way for me to do some community building. Or you've got this little bottle here. You get your 10-year-old son, uh, like mine, Griffin, who's scared about needles. You give him some of this watermelon breath rocks. He's focused on this part in his mouth. Boom, you jab him. And he hasn't even cried at all. You give him the rest of the bottle, cost you $1.49. Mom goes, oh my gosh, what is this sorcery that you've got going on? She's buying the different flavors. She's telling her girlfriends, come down uh, and see Frank down at Village Pharmacy because this is a, a fantastic product. And as Breck has assembled all these great products and services, these products and services, they take time to, to discuss. Well, what Adam Robinson and a bunch of other pharmacist investors call this, they call this product, no pun intended, an icebreaker. So you can sit down with your, your, your patient, you can give them this product right off the bat, they're gonna be excited, about, they're gonna be having fun, and then they'll happily have a conversation with you about medication therapy management. They can talk with you about MedSync, they can talk about compliance packaging, because this little product uh, is just such a great way to open the door. And the last thing I'll share with you is the fundraising opportunity. We have raised over 650,000 from all these fantastic pharmacy owners. And so after this Diversify show and after the multi-location show, we're just wrapping up here in the last you know couple of weeks and bringing people on. So I'll put my information in the chat. If you'd like to join us, it's really simple. It's, it's a seed loan where we're paying back that principal and interest later this year from all of our product sales and our crowdfunding. And then you'll still have equity that we project. You're looking at a four times return as a base with continued uh, ROI from there. So if you're ready to order, I'll put my information in the chat. We are doing self-distribution right now, but in the next couple months, uh, IPC, API, those folks are going to be carrying us in a, and, uh, and some of the other great wholesalers, uh, distributors want us uh, as well. So this is just a great tool that you can have in your pharmacy to solve your patient's dry mouth and bad breath, but also as a way to grow your pharmacy. So glad to be here, Breck. Thanks for uh, for putting this together once again. Yeah, thank you, Jonathan. Appreciate you supporting this. And you know, this is a uh, an amazing product. Jonathan was uh, kind enough to send me out uh, some samples for uh, stuffing stockers, uh, st stocking stuffers. There you go. A little dyslexic. Um, and my family just loves them. So I'm um, still looking for uh, the list of the Arizona pharmacies we can go buy more from. So thanks, Jonathan. Um, next up, uh, the Pharmacy Hub. I didn't see Devong here today. Um, I can quickly ch share with you about this as part of the Team Up initiative uh, at NCPA. Um, basically taking a lot of services and combining them and put them into one platform for you. You know, the the smartest group of people I've ever had the uh, opportunity to work with in 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 my career, and I've I've done things outside of, of pharmacy. I am really old, so even though 20 years has been with pharmacy, I've I've been in the entertainment. I've been even in the the uh, uh, convenience store, and and right out of college, I I worked for American Oil, uh, Amico, and. And, uh, you know, the smartest group I've had the pleasure of working with are our, our pharmacists, our PharmDs our, and our um, RPHs and those guys that are just so knowledgeable, but horrible at marketing their services. Uh, you may um, uh, you may actually resonate with that statement or you may say, no, I do a great job of marketing their services. Well, I went and looked at what all the platforms we use um, for social media for web uh, building, for blogging, for uh, digital marketing, um, uh, email campaigns, all of that. And it was like four or five different um, uh, fees that we were paying for all these different services. Uh, the Pharmacy Hub has combined that all into one service for you. Uh, so if you want more information about that, I'll, I'll uh, share uh, the information on how to get a hold of, of uh, Devong. Uh, as well, so you can get more information on his his program. Really uh, fun program. 
Um, really easy to use too. Most of you that, that got an email from me got it actually through this system. So I'm piloting it uh, for him right now. Uh, we've covered RX Spark, so let's jump forward here real quick. And oh, this is the one thing that we uh, didn't mention about um, RX Spark is uh, John is also working on bringing in a platform to be a part of that service that uh, will be a, a digital um, uh, patient record. So they'll have all of their um, their all the EMRs are combined and putting all the information for the patient on their the phone. The reason why we want to capture that and have it in one place is for all of the drugs that have been prescribed. They patients don't just have one primary care provider. Uh, that would be real easy if they did. They they may have a pain specialist, and then they have a you know a, an orthopedic specialist. They may have all these different people they're going to. So three or four different doctors may be actually writing prescriptions for that patient. This will collectively bring all that information in one place so that you can sit down and do. Uh, uh, drug interaction reviews with your patients, which obviously is a, a billable event as well. So this is a, another project that is coming online soon. Um, we just set up a meeting with another provider uh, tomorrow to, to get the details on their, their platform to see if that will work and integrate into the RxSpark uh, platform. So more to come on that. And uh, let's... Uh, Really quickly talk about free business listings. This is a, also another program to help you promote your uh, pharmacy, okay? Um, some of our pharmacy, independent owned pharmacies don't even have functioning websites. Uh, you're just kind of um, expecting everyone to be able to find you on Google. Well, Google is only one of like 60 some odd places that you can be found. Um, so there are all of these other listing services, uh, and this helps you uh, understand if you are on those listing services and if it's even on there correctly. So I'm going to put a, a explainer video uh, in the, the chat and then also a, um, um, a link to get your free uh, your your uh, free business listing report, they'll actually do a, an analysis. Uh, this is more than just showing showing up on these listings, it's showing up with correct information. So uh, people that have had this, this um, uh, free business listing report done for them, they found that there's maybe an old phone number that's not used anymore. It was an incorrect address that was listed on, on Bing or Yahoo or Yelp or some other place. So it's a pretty good idea to at least just check into this and, and make sure that you are being exposed everywhere that you can be exposed for your pharmacy, um, what your hours are and um, or whatever your specialty is that you wanna focus on as, as well. Um, so the, those links are again up in the, in, the, in the chat. I wanna invite up to the stage now, uh, Jessica from uh, Real Value um, Rx. They're a wonderful partner of ours and you know, we have several of our pharmacy friends who don't use them as a secondary uh, wholesaler because of their pricing is so good uh, that they use them as their, their primary. But Jessica, please tell us more about your program. Thank you, Breck, and hello, everyone. Um, so basically, um, we are a secondary wholesaler, but as Breck mentioned, we do service a lot of our clientele on the primary level um, and also secondary, even tertiary um, depending on your volume. Um, our price model is a little bit unique in the industry compared to other wholesalers um, in the sense that we try to keep our prices low. Uh, we try to work on a net pricing model, meaning we do not do rebates. We do not do contracts. Uh, we do not expect a certain volume just to pass on the savings to our customers. Um, and, and the reason behind that is, you know, you're already having challenges with primaries, you know, kind of holding you to that expectation for you to get, you know, decent pricing structure on your generics and, and brand medications. So we, we kind of try to operate different so that it's easy to work with and it'll hopefully help your cash flow uh, for your pharmacy. Um, and then on, on the flip side, you know, our retail medications, day-to-day -day maintenance drugs, fantastic pricing, um, but we also try to focus on items that adjudicate favorably as well. Um, so we try to help our independents with, you know, um, marketing tools, 
um, top selling items that are trending in your state. Um, and, and these items, you know, first and foremost, they're better therapies for your patient. So that's the first thing. But second of all, a lot of the times they adjudicate much favorably. So it's a win-win for the patient and the pharmacy. Um, so we have a full line of full line catalog on those items. So we do a, a blend of both. Um, there are a lot of wholesalers that out there that just focus on one or the other um, kind of business. And again, we do both. And then aside from that, we do have and offer generous terms for clients. So we can do anywhere between 30 to 45 day, day net pay. Um, we start you off with very nice credit lines um, as well, uh, provided that financials are, are in line. And we do have next day free shipping. Our shipping minimums are pretty low. Um, we also have extensive short date offerings. Um, very flexible ways to order. You can either order with me direct, uh, you can order online. We're also EDI uh, capable. So however your order method is, we acclimate to that style. And then we also do have Saturday delivery options available as well. Um, we are fully accredited. And, you know, going back to the marketing help on those items that, you know, would, would adjudicate favorably for you, uh, we also are partnered with EasyScript RX, and and what they are is is a benefit check software. So it's pretty much a crystal ball into coverage um, uh, in your state. So it's a beautiful program. It's it's unique in its kind. Um, if there's anybody that's interested in that, um, all my information is on the chat. If you'd like more information on Real Value RX, or also to set up a demo with EasyScript RX. Um, you know, it's about a 30 minute demo and, and they can go over all that. So, um, and then that's pretty much it on my end, Breck. Awesome. Thank you, Jessica. A wonderful company. Um, here's a, one of the, the uh, product portfolios that she was mentioning. I've got the one on pain management because that affects our work comp industry the most. Uh, just a great, great tool. They will provide you with these these tools. These are marketing tools that you can take out uh, when you're going out to do detailing, uh, when you're taking your breath rocks out to meet the doctors and give them a nice little sample, uh, bring them some information about um, what uh, medications that they could prescribe uh, for your for you to fill at your pharmacy that are going to be in not only the patient's best interest but also in your best interest for reimbursement. So thank you very much, Jessica. Appreciate that. And um, want to now invite uh, up to uh, to the stage uh, Cindy Gordon, good friend of, of the program here. She helps uh, our wonderful community pharmacies save on their costs. So not only are we all about bringing you new revenue to your pharmacy, we also want to save you uh, when when we can. And uh, and Cindy's an expert at that. Awesome. Thank you, Breck. And yes, building revenue means more employees to handle that flow of customers. So with that, health benefits is a key component to attracting and retaining good people into your pharmacy. And I think what makes us a little unique is the products that we offer. Uh, we have done a lot of research because we love working with small businesses of all kinds, but specifically learning from Brick, you know, how community pharmacies are so challenged. We love to introduce pharmacists to different options, different health plans that have been saving them 50, 25 to 50%. I was talking to a pharmacist in New York and showed her plans that literally cut the premiums in half. She was stunned. So, um, we just want to educate. We just want to help people get great coverage for their staff. And, um, you know, we're able to work in most states because it's just a matter of paying for a license there. <laughs> but we, um, yeah, just love to educate. So I appreciate the opportunity of connecting with people and um, all that you're doing for these pharmacists. Thanks, yeah, Greg. Thank Thank you, Cindy. Please put your, your contact information in the chat. Again, we've had uh, some people join a little bit late and we want to make sure that they don't miss out on being able to contact you. So thanks, Cindy. Appreciate your support uh, for the program. Um, 
you know, the, the next thing that I wanted to, to talk about here is this turnkey wellness uh, program. Um, this is amazing um, because, you know, not only is it bringing additional revenue sources into your pharmacy, uh, additional services providing to your patients, um, but this is a turnkey. They're literally going to even staff the clinic for you. So what do I mean by a, a clinic? Um, it's it's the BRIM, you know, wellness centers uh, that is really focused on wellness. This is also a part of the, the Team Up initiative because think about this for just a minute. Our independent pharmacies, our community pharmacies nationwide, collaboratively, we together are the biggest health system in the country. You can still be independent, but be a part of this collaboration to be one of the largest health, uh, the largest health system. Uh, this is like a minute clinic on steroids. Uh, it's uh, again, focused on well care, uh, not sick care. So it's a lot of the well care checks and the the um, uh, things that would, would help with with uh, making uh, patients stay well longer rather than focusing on, on just uh, taking care of uh, sickness. Um, there's also the chronic care side of that with diabetes uh, programs, uh, smoking cessation, a bunch of things, but amazing, amazing program. Uh, we have um, a couple of their leaders here today. If, uh, um, if Michael, if you wanted to, to say hi and, and maybe tell us a little more about uh, your your BRIM program. Absolutely. No, thank you so much, Breck, and thank you, everybody, for being on to, to listen a little bit. I'll just, a very high level, I'm Michael Phillips, and uh, I've been working the last 20-plus uh, years um, uh, starting medical groups, um, uh, managing hospitals, building hospitals, um, buying and selling medical groups and hospitals, and uh, the space I was in was always um, independent. We did independent hospitals. Um, and so we, we really have a passion for um, the smaller community pharmacies and the independents out there um, because we believe they, they provide better service, better care, and treat the customers like people. Um, you don't become numbers like an, an HCA or a Kaiser system. And the, the physicians prefer to deal with independent pharmacies in my experience. So uh, I see a wonderful opportunity for everybody here. Um, just, just to be brief, at a very high level, um, as Breck described, our program is to help bring some very manageable clinical services that will create uh, new revenue, uh, better outcome um, in the wellness space, keep people from ending up in hospitals if possible, um, prevent people's diseases from progressing, and working towards um, better quality of life, um, and creating great collaborative relationships between uh, physicians that may already be prescribing to your pharmacies and potentially new new physicians and creating more foot traffic. So um, our goal right now in the near term is to work with uh, 15 um, uh, pharmacies uh, to start that are extremely interested in additional revenue um, without additional workload and implement these programs. And so uh, we right now are in the process of talking to quite a few, and we're working through um, uh, the process of getting some uh, LOI signed. And uh, without taking up too much of anybody's time, uh, we'd love to uh, talk to you individually. Um, I have a standard, pretty simple NDA I'd like to get people under before we, we get too deep into it, because there's some proprietary information that's, that's quite valuable. And um, and then have some individual discussions uh, keep the momentum going. But uh, we're very excited about um, what we have to bring. We do have um, some solutions for financing to to help um, along the way. Also, if people are interested, um, but it's a full scale program. Um, uh, this this slide is a little visual representation of the aspects of it. Uh, but um, but uh, at a, at a very high level. Um, we want to we want to help bring some solutions to you and to your customers and help drive additional um, uh, people through your doors. And uh, we have a pretty, pretty proven out program that can do it. So um, that, that really kind of wraps it up for me, Breck. If there are any questions, you know, feel free to message them. 
And um, certainly, uh, Brett can pass along my contact information for individual discussions yeah. in the near future. Yeah, thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. Michael, the CEO of Brim. And um, um, fun fact, I uh, hope I don't embarrass you, Michael. Fun fact, he comes from a family of, of, of uh, medical professionals. Uh, his dad uh, is a retired transplant surgeon and was on the very first um, heart transplant team here in the U.S. So uh, really a deep uh, heritage in, in uh, medical, and we're excited to have him heading up uh, the BRIM program. The, um, the pharmacy that's the furthest along with implementation on this uh, program is already generating over $30,000 a month. Okay, that's real revenue dollars, new revenue that they didn't have before in a depressed community, uh, I might add too. So this is a community that doesn't have, a, it's not a lot of white collar, uh, you know, folks with a lot of extra uh, capital to 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 put into wellness or healthcare. Uh, this is a very de depressed area, so um, it it really does work. So, in in the chat, you'll see I've I've spammed it a couple of times with my contact information in there. Well, that one of those live links is the Calendly dot com forward slash Breck Rice. That is my calendar. You can use that to schedule a time so that I can actually uh, set you up and get you in front of, of Michael and his team uh, to start the the, the process and, and getting you on uh, on the implementation list for this. They do everything, including staffing. All the programs that I've seen to help bring, you know, help pharmacies um, operate at their highest level of, of their degree has always created more work for the pharmacy. So it's like, yeah, it's great to do these, these programs, but it, it also has created a lot of extra work for, um, you know, for the pharmacy. They are going to staff it for you. You'll own it. They'll run it and staff it. I wanted to come back to this slide before, because I forgot to mention this, uh, this about the, um, the shots here. I, I have a client that did almost 10,000 flu shots last, uh, last year. Um, during flu season, and they they were only getting about seventeen dollar average reimbursement. So their reimbursement was, you know, one uh, one hundred and sixty seven thousand. After credentialing, after becoming a a clinic, that they'll do the same work, the same amount of flu shots, and uh, will earn about a million dollars in revenue. This is these are real dollars, folks. So uh, please uh, go to the uh, to the the um, chat there and make sure that that you find a time where we can we can get you in front of these folks. There's a a um, a demo of a medical device uh, that that's going into these that I can show you at some later date as well. Um, that that's absolutely amazing. It's improving uh, circulation, decreasing inflammation. If you look at you know, all of the 45,000 known diseases, 93% uh, of them originate from inflammation. So if you're reducing inflammation, you're going to have less, less diseases. Amazing, amazing technology. I can show you uh, more at a later date on that. Wanted to bring up one more date that's coming up here, March uh, 21st. Uh, with all of this new revenue that uh, pharmacies will be generating, and I, I believe you have the ability to, to generate an additional $750 to $1 million or more per year with these clinical services, you want to be able to, to keep more of that. And so uh, I've launched a, a webinar series. The third uh, meeting is coming up on the 21st, uh, where I've assembled some experts that will help you keep more of what you're, you're earning. So uh, they have programs that reduce your taxes by as much as 40%. And we've even brought in a retirement specialist uh, to, uh, you know, I think most of our pharmacy owners think they're just going to die behind the bench. Uh, one way or another, you're going to retire. Um, whether you pass it down to, uh, to a family member, or if you sell, uh, we have experts that will help you make sure that you're setting that up for, uh, for the best. Um, you want to say hello real quick, Richard. He's our expert on the tax reduction. Richard's here today. Oops. Yep. Yeah. It's Trying to turn on the video. Thank you very much. Hey, Breck. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Appreciate your uh, your introduction. And um, yeah, I'd love to talk with you. I represent I, I represent a tax law uh, a tax law firm. 
that has been doing this for over well over 20 years. We work with small to mid-sized businesses. And the, the headline is that we are typically able to reduce the taxes of shareholders by 20 to 40 percent. Those are your personal taxes that you that you pay on your on your 1040 to the feds or to and or to your uh, to your state. So uh, that's what we do. There are just a huge number of um, tax strategies, credits, uh, incentives that the government has that uh, are completely legitimate. We've never been we've never been audited on what we're doing because we use just the statutory things. But um, it's there, it's available, and it's just that we don't have the opportunity to see that uh, with the uh, in, in a typical situation. So look forward to meeting with you. If you have the uh, if you have interest, we'll be happy to work with you. Take care. Um, and Richard, do you have the link to that meeting on the the twenty first that you could post in the chat? I, I was just looking for it. I should have been. Do believe there. I do. Yes. Yeah, please please put, put post that up in the uh, in the chat when you you find it, and then. Also, uh, Damar, Damar uh, Lewis is here today. Want to, if you want to come on real quick. Um, Damar is the is a a forty year plus pharmacist, PharmD, who uh, has a program that helps you double your profit uh, in in a couple of easy steps. Damar, do you want to say hello real quick? Yeah, thanks, Breck. Um, thanks, Richard. Um, yes, so. Um, in our presentation next uh, Thursday, um, we will talk about um, really looking at your, um, uh, your 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 financials and find um, untapped profits within your business. And we we look at twelve different areas and um, um, and take in. Um, Rick had talked about earlier about um, you know really pushing to have at least one third of your um, business coming from high margin activities, and some of those activities include um, uh, reducing costs. Um, you know, working with uh, with Jessica and Cindy. Um, you know, you can in just those two areas reduce your um, your overhead by, you know, 10 to 20%. And that's enough to really have substantial uh, profits that allow you to better manage the cash within your business. Thank you. Appreciate that, Damar. Um, and uh, that is is the, uh, the program. Again, my contact information is up in the chat. Um, just put it up there again on the board, that Calendly. Uh, if you um, aren't familiar with, with how to save the, the chat, that's really simple. At the, at the bottom of the chat, you'll see the little icon uh, for putting up emojis and, and notes and things like that. There's three little dots uh, on the far right side. You click on those three little dots and then just click save the chat. It'll save it to your uh, to your hard drive on your computer. I've also saved it myself. So if anyone is having any trouble finding that, uh, please just just reach out to me and I'll I'll uh, get you uh, a copy of the chat with everyone's uh, contact information from today. And again, the easiest thing is is just schedule some time on on my calendar. But did want to open up? We still have about four minutes here. Uh, if anyone has any specific questions that we could um, handle for you right now, be happy to do that. Just come off of mute and, and uh, ask your question. Or you also have a uh, button where you can you, you can raise your hand. I'll, I'll stop uh, sharing my screen so I can see everybody here too. So if, if there are any questions, please feel free to come off mute and ask them at this time. Otherwise, again, uh, go to my, um, you know, go to my link there and and schedule some time. Richard, did you find the uh, the link yet for the twenty first? I did, and I posted it. I posted perfect. it in the chat. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, I want to make sure that I I got that saved as well. All right. So, thank you so much, everyone, for being here today. Um, it was uh, absolutely great to have you take uh, time out of your busy schedules. We know how busy you are, so thank you for being here. And hopefully, if there's just even one thing you can take away from today and, and implement that and get that started at your pharmacy, 
Uh, we love community pharmacy and we want to see you be successful and uh, we'll do everything we can to, to help you. And that's why we, we put on these programs. So uh, I'll be here for a few more minutes. Uh, anyone that might have questions, uh, just raise your hand or, or speak up. But thanks again for being here. There was a question in the chat um, uh, about signing up for something. Um, uh, let me go back into the chat. Yeah, I have it at the very bottom. Apologize, haven't been uh, keeping up with all the chat. Yeah, so um, the 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 question is is about the big the way that that people are doing things differently um, in bringing programs in that are being billed through the pharmacy side. You're always going to get cut back to pharmacy reimbursements. Um, so a lot of payers do business with PBMs like the the um, you know, like your, your, um, you know, Optums and my matrix and all of those. So you're going to always get paid by, you know, at those same uh, rates as the PBM. If, if you're out of network with those PBMs, meaning that you don't carry a, a network agreement with a, my matrix or a, a Tim assist or something like that, those are all the claims that can be sent through to, uh, to the serve RX, uh, bin and um uh, and uh, and get the higher reimbursements on the clinical side you're you're actually setting up a a separate entity doesn't have it, it doesn't even a, it it resides in your pharmacy but it's a completely separate entity and all the billing goes out from that clinic not from your pharmacy and with uh with the way that we have it set up with collaborative practice agreements you actually have um, a medical director, a doctor that you are, um, uh, that's your medical director. And so you're getting reimbursed at physician's rates, not at pharmacy's rate or even at a, a, uh, a nurse practitioner rate. So nurse practitioners only can bill at about 85% uh, of, the, of the fee schedule for this, the service where a physician can bill out at 100%. So I hope that that answers the question. California for workers comp is a hard state, um, by the way. Uh, so that's a they have closed networks and um, uh, they're these little NPN closed networks. So it's a hard one for a third party uh, to to be effective in. Uh, but anything, you know, anything um, uh, east of, of the West Coast, um, with the exception of of um, the state of uh, of Ohio, Ohio has a, a, a monopoly as well, so they only have um, the Ohio Bureau of Workers' Compensation up there, and and they control like ninety nine percent of the lives in in the state of Ohio. But we do we still process claims in all fifty states, uh, based you know based on the the state of jurisdiction where the patient is. So, well, thanks again, everyone, for being here. We're uh, one minute after. I'm going to uh, uh, jump on another meeting I need to get to. But again, appreciate everyone being here. And, and I'll make the recording available for anyone that, that needs it. Thank you. Bye now.